right, Adele, enjoy it. It's your first drink of the day, huh? All right, Sonia, come on. A little more, a little more violent, Teddy. Just a touch. Good. Good. Good for you? Good. Ernie, I thought this was going to be a lipstick layout. But of course, love. Just wait till they open their mouths. I mean, just wait until you see what I've created for you. Can I help you, sir? I guess I came in the wrong door, sorry. All right, Laura. Enjoy it. Miss Scott, right? Yes. I'm sorry, forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You know, upstairs they told me you'd be down here, but this is some building you got here. I mean, you got everything Do in I this know building. you? You don't know me, ma'am, but I sure know you. Every time I shave, there you are. It's a pleasure. My name's Lieutenant Colombo. I'm from the LAPD. Uh, do you have a moment? Oh, um, uh, carry on, uh, Ferdy. Come this way, please. All right, Adele, let's take a look at the Murdered? How horrible. Yes, it's terrible. Man. What'd you say his name was? Lessing? Oh, not that nice young man in Dr. Murchison's department. A chemist, ma'am, yes. Yes. But I understand he was going to be fired today. Oh, well, it had nothing to do with him, Lieutenant. Poor boy. I wonder if he had any family. No, ma'am, he didn't. You know, in that connection, maybe you can help me out. I was upstairs, and I wanted to ask about him somebody in the laboratory there. You know, they wouldn't let me in. Like Fort Knox around here. I had no idea you had such top secrets in a nice lady's business like this. I'll fix that, Lieutenant. You can go anywhere you want and ask anything you want. We have no secrets from the police. Oh, thank you. I knew um, you'd say that. Yes, let me have Dorothy. Just on the type of person you are. She's not. Oh, how long? Oh, no, never mind. I'll call back. You know, I got to tell you honestly that uh, I feel like I've known you for 100 years. I feel you like a member of the family. I mean, you're like, uh, like Lydia Pinkham. Oh, well. Thank you. Oh, well. Um, my secretary is out right now, but uh, I'll take care of it as soon as she returns. I uh, can't help but think you're wasting your time, but if you'd like to talk to my personnel director, he could probably tell you more about Mr. Lessing. No, I've already spoken to him, and he showed me Mr. Lessing's file. Oh, listen, you know in that connection. There was something funny about that, you know. It was the only file folder in the whole cabinet that had been shoved in backwards. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, I'm sure it don't mean anything. I was just wondering about it. Because personnel files, they're confidential, and the file is usually locked. So I was just curious who might have a key and who wouldn't have a key. Well, um, I have one, and uh, probably a dozen other people. I could get your list if you like. No, that wouldn't be necessary. Maybe later. I won't bother you anymore. No trouble, Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant, you will let me know the minute you have any idea who that poor boy's murderer was, won't you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, Dora, um, there's a Lieutenant Colombo in the building. I think he's on his way up to the lab now. Would you please Scott, see... Scott, there is something maybe I ought to tell you right now, because it might not have been a murderer. I think it was a woman that killed him. You do? Or at least a woman was there last night. You see, on the back of this television magazine, that just must have come in the mail just yesterday, there was a lot of doodling, black figures black numbers and dollar signs. <clears throat> yes. Mm. Well, they were written with a black eyebrow pencil. I spotted it right away because that's what my wife always uses when she makes out a grocery list. When she goes into her purse, that's the only kind of pencil she can ever find. <sighs> then you're wasting your time here, aren't you, Lieutenant? What do you mean? You're talking to a redhead. Brunettes use black eyebrow pencil. Just one more thing. 